So as you recall, tinea corporis, also known as ringworm, is a common fungal infection. The risk factors for this are diabetes, HIV, obesity, patients who have pets, and then moist areas or hygiene problems. It is, of course, pruritic, and our patient's lesion was described as mildly itchy. Most often you'll see on exam singular or perhaps multiple raised annular erythematous lesions. That's why it's called ringworm. It's annular type lesions with an irregular border, as we have in our patient, central clearing and scale, however. Now our patient's not seeing any uh, evidence of scale on her lesion. And there may also be pustules with tinea corporis. We treat it with a topical antifungal and it's very readily treatable. Well, we know that our patient does have some itchiness, but still this doesn't seem very likely based on the description and the image that we have. So I think we can safely take tinea corporis off of our list. Let's move on to talk about seborrheic keratosis. Now this is a very common benign skin tumor. <clears throat> there may be some hereditary features. Patients whose parents had a lot of these lesions are very likely to develop it themselves, and they tend to increase with uh, age. Sometimes they're referred to as the barnacles of aging, um, growing on the side of your ship as you get older. They are described as exophytic. Exophytic means that they are outwardly growing or growing out of the skin as opposed to infiltrating into the skin. You'll oftentimes see terms like waxy or greasy. Uh, they're brownish black in coloration and they're stuck on in appearance. That's again, one of those terms you should look for on the boards. They're papules, nodules, they may be plaques, and they evolve very slowly over months to years. The treatment is generally you just follow them or ignore them, but if they're in particular areas where they're bothersome or maybe on a bra line or in a, a place where cosmetic appearance matters, uh, you can remove them with curatage or cryotherapy. Doesn't sound like that's what our patient has. She has a very flat uh, lesion that has irregular borders and it's in a sun exposed area. So this doesn't really fit with seborrheic keratosis. So let's take that one off of our list too. 